This morning we have a fully burnt, fully, fully burnt tractor trailer. Really don't like the idea of going under there, but I really don't have a choice. Getting all kinds of stuff in my ears, my nose. This is my scene, boy. Good morning, everybody. As you guys saw, we have a little bit of a mess on our hands. This morning, we have a fully burnt, fully, fully burnt tractor trailer um, loaded with miscellaneous Home Depot product, I guess. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, completely burned. I believe it was a Volvo. Um, and we're here with the rotator at the moment. That was, you know, the first truck dispatch. So I was on scene, fire department just got out of here and uh, now we're here to deal with the mess. So this morning uh, we have Darl in route with the Kozad trailer um, and the plan is to pull the truck away from the uh, trailer and I'll show you guys. At least to my eye, it appears that right about there there is a break in the trailer where it got so hot that it just busted the cross member. So we should just be able to hook onto the front, pull it forward, and the trailer will stay put. We have Emery Land Clearing on their way. Uh, you guys have seen them in the past on some of our nasty recoveries. They have you know high side end dumps and they have uh, excavators and stuff like that. They're gonna come and deal with the cargo. So they're gonna basically clear the cargo from the trailer and dispose of that properly. And then uh, we're gonna deal with the trailer and you know, it's basically, it's carcass. Um, so that is the plan this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm the only one on scene at the moment. I'm gonna probably start working on getting this truck pulled away and wait for Darl to show up so I can lift that onto him, get him out of here because we've got some other things going on. And then I have another land all in route at some point once we get the cargo cleared to where we can lift the whole trailer, set it onto the, um, onto our trailer, get it all out of here. And that is at least the tentative plan. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Yeah, that was like the ending. I don't know why I said that. Um, but anyway, hope, thank you for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Thanks. All righty guys. So I'm going to uh, get a chain hooked up to the front axle and we'll use the drag winch here to uh, pull it. Let's go ahead and start the truck up. I was trying to save some fuel. I forgot to fill the truck up. We're not dangerously low, but don't know how long we're gonna be out here, so. Right. Eh, in between quarter and a half. We're like 40 miles from home. Chain. Hey, hey. Got the motor here. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna pull this out of the way, kind of get it up here, so that way I can lift it onto a trailer. Um, once that's out of the way, if you guys wanna get the loader and just try to get as much of the cargo off the trailer as possible, because once the end dump gets here, we'll start loading that into the end dump, but that way I can get the trailer and lift it or do whatever I gotta do with it. Kind of just kind of scrape off. Yep, exactly. So if we could like maybe do a couple passes here, get that maybe just nice pile even behind on the shoulder would work too. Okay. Just so it's, uh, that way we can kind of see what's left of the trailer and see where I can cut it or whatever and lift it. Sounds cool. good. Cool, appreciate it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open this clasp. Locking our winch, make sure we're tilted all the way down. There we go. All right, let's see what she's gonna do. See if she's gonna split or bring the trailer with me. I think it'll split. <laughs> it's pulling the whole front axle forward on the uh, on the 
leaf spring, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It should stop, though. <laughs> now it's ripping the leaf spring out now. There it goes. Looks like it just gave. Oh, jeez. It's going to be a mess. It's, it looks like it's a Kenworth with the eight bag suspension. So axles and all that are barely hanging on. Guess we'll come back and get that. Good that it's going that way though, it gives me a lot of room to work. Hey, um, I think it'd be better for you to bring a Landall out. It's it's one of those Kenworths with the eight bad suspension, so both rear drive axles are like folded under the back end after I pulled this thing out. So they're they're gonna have to be put on separately. All right, I'll let Caltrans kind of do some cleanup there, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the bridles from the top, single part of the lines, got the truck up on platform, and boom, extended. You guys have seen me do that a million times, so I uh, decided not to record that. But uh, yeah, so as you guys saw previously, we got the tractor out here and kind of in the open. So I'm gonna start booming down. I'm gonna try to lay the chain bridle right there behind the trailer so that way I can put it where I need to and then swing the shorter bridle over. So let's go ahead and start swinging blue. Let's see where that puts us. Uh, yeah, it puts us pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and Cable down, just kind of going to just lay all that right there. Now the challenge is finding something to hook onto that isn't compromised. This frame obviously got really hot because everything got compromised. So I'm going to have to find something to basically get my chain wedged behind so that way it doesn't slide forward. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can find something here. So set the remote there for a second. This is gonna go to the other side. Go ahead and keep cabling down. We need a lot more cable. Try to work with that. Let's see what we can find down here. Ooh, man, that frame is all twisted up. I think we're gonna have to go behind the fifth wheel. Really don't like the idea of going under there, but I really don't have a choice either, so. Why does my phone have to ring right now? Who is it? Oh, I actually do have to answer that. All right, so back to our program here. I am going to utilize the fifth wheel as a means to hold my chain from sliding forward. I just need to get it to drop down. So I'm going to access it. kinds of stuff in my ears, my nose. There's our chain. Come on, baby, give me a little more. There we go. Yeah, there's one side. more accessibility on this side. Alright, there we go. So, we'll see how that works out. Might have to slide the chains under. 
or over. All right, so I'm gonna continue to rotate the blue. I'm gonna have to cable out on white though. All right, we'll let blue down. Try to find something to hook onto up here. All right, let's come to me. Boom, up suddenly, maybe. Ah, almost. Boom up again. There we go. Good. Oh, you stay over there. Okay, so the frame is kind of trashed, but I have a cr uh, shock mount there that we could potentially use to hold our chain from sliding, and we have the same over here. So we'll see how that works out. Might not work, might work, I don't know. But a good amount of frame rail there too, so in, in the light of keeping the chain links equal, I'm just gonna hook the frame like that. And then same over here, hopefully. Yeah, that should work. All right, let's put a little bit of lift into it and see what happens. We're gonna rotate to white. Gonna get it a little bit more centered, cabling out on blue. Okay, something like that. And probably gonna have to boom up a bit. Something like that. Go up on blue here, see what she looks like. Go up on white. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go airborne with it and see how she reacts. Give a little walk around here, just check our chains, especially these ones. Yeah, that one's not the prettiest, but should kick in as we get a little bit of weight. That one's good, the other side is good. Let's go ahead and take some up, see what happens. See what comes with us and see what doesn't. I believe the drive axles are gonna stay on the ground. They might come. Yep, okay, that's actually not bad though. And I intentionally set myself very far away so that way Darl could sneak into here without hitting all that debris. So I'll probably pull this in close and have Caltrans scrape this away. Let's see what's still hanging up. Looks like we got a cross member right there. Let's see if it's gonna break free or if we're gonna have to cut it. Looks like we got another one too. Hmm, okay. I'm going to boom down and let's see what we can do about those. Might have to use the Sawzall to cut them free. They're bending. I think we're gonna have to bring it in this way. Maybe roll it or rotate it that way as we lay it down. Cause they pivot. There they go. Okay. To start. Okay. They're resting now. I, I don't want to cut it while it's airborne. Absolutely not. Let's see what we can do about that, though. So if they're going to hang like that, it's just going to make it harder. So we got a cross member there. <sighs> All right. Well, I got the backside supported here with some weight. I'm not the biggest fan of getting under here, but... I think we're gonna have to try to sawzall cut that right there and then that one might have to deal with separately. Alright, 
I'm gonna leave a little bit of meat on it, try to break it free. I don't know if it's under tension. Let's see. Go up and white. There it goes. Okay, so there's one. Let's see what we can do about this other one. That might work. I might be able to access it from the inside the frame there. Let's give that a shot. Man, traffic is hauling. Ugh, I hate that. switch blades. It looks like the inside of this got pretty dull, but the outside teeth are sharp still, but it's hard to use that long blade. All right, guys, camera battery died, but uh, we got that little uh, trailing arm cut off. This thing's ready to go airborne. It's going to leave all the scrap Charlie, below. Don't jump out. Caltrans did a really good job clearing up this uh, this trailer. I mean, it's ready for us, which is really nice of them. And then, oh, there is Emery right there. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be our excavator and then the end dump. So, perfect timing. And then Darl and Tony, two Landals, are uh, just starting to climb the hill now. It's so probably another 25, 30 minutes they'll be here. Yeah, yeah. All right, the cavalry is here. We got an excavator here. We got two Landals, end up, Tony, Darl. This is my scene, boy. Oh, yeah. Only the best. Perfect. One more under there that we can grab once it's in the air. Straight there, just back up.
front's in the, uh, hanging off now. Are we worried about it or? Good foot and a half. Tony's gonna put it. Is it still resting on that? Let me pick it up a little. No? Must be. Yeah, that's, I'm down there. Whoa! That little thing's heavy. Thing's got some weight to it, huh? All right, Darl is loaded and headed back. Check on Emery over here. So they, they're making themselves a metal pile. They don't think that they're gonna be able to get everything in one load, so they got another roll-off coming. Metal in one, and then the rest of the debris into here. And then the trailer is pretty well scraped off, like I said. So once they're kind of finished up here, I'll have the end dump pull forward, I'll back up, and we'll get that trailer onto Tony. We should be out of here. You just lift up the front of that so we can throw a chain under. Thanks. Let's try that. We'll try to kind of saw it back and forth. Okay. It's about as far as I can go. This cross member right here. How much uh, do you have on that side? I got another to set it down, we can up to it. Good there, you can access it? Yeah. Okay. Watch your fingers. I'm good with just hooking the rim, Tony. Just the outside. Just hook the hole. Kind of on the, the front. Those aren't supposed to turn. The brakes are set. I don't know if it's gonna come airborne though. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Might have to move that back chain to the back. Or the to the back rim, I don't know. That DOT bar is still on the ground. Might come up. I don't want this thing to break while I'm lifting it. Come on, beat ya. There it goes. 
It's not pretty. <laughs> the blue chain has like no weight on it. Okay, uh, let's have him pick some of that off. Can I have you uh, pick some of that bigger debris out from under there so I can back the trailer in? Thank you. All right, do you want to just stay as close as you can to me? Don't worry about getting straight with it, and I'll just bring it to us. It's not pretty, but it's in the air. No one ever said it was pretty. That look okay, Tony? That look okay? Oh, as good as it's gonna get. Sawzall in the rotator if we want to cut these ends off. All right, everybody. Um, as you guys saw, we got this on the Trail King and all chained down, ready to go. Just got a couple chains to the axles and then a couple chains over the top. Not really a whole lot to grab onto with that. Um, Emery's gonna continue cleaning up. They basically have everything uh, inside the end dump here, and then they are going to load up their metal pile into a uh, roll off. And that should very well complete the cleanup here. So as far as I'm concerned, we're all done out here. I'm just gonna wait for the roll off to show up, coordinate that, and we should be good to go. So. With that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.